What's up guys? Welcome to day 25 of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge, um, where I do 30 days for the whole month of June, a meal plan for you for free. So if you want to see all of the, the videos in this series, click the cards, whichever corner that's in, and um, all, I guess what, 25 videos as of right now are there. But when the challenge is over, all of the videos from this meal plan will be in that playlist. So watch them, you know, go through there. And then also down below, there's a link to the meal plan. So go to ketorewind.com. I just got out of the lake. <laughs> um, I'm literally still dripping, <laughs> but this dinner tonight is going to be super easy. Um, I'll start off with lunch. We're going to make a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich with keto toast and then dinner time, which will be just about now. <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to just plop a couple of ingredients together, bake it in the oven while you shower and get cleaned up from the lake, and dinner is served in 30 minutes. So a nice quick and easy recipe, and I can't wait to show it for you. This recipe is not mine. Um, I'm going to put the recipe link below directly to the recipe creator. Um, all the macros, they've calculated it for you. Um, which is another plus because my videos are getting long and our internet is really slow. A lot of people have been complaining about the um, speed that I'm getting these videos up, but please understand I'm in the woods. <laughs> I am not in Texas right now. I am in a really remote area of New Hampshire and we just don't have the high speed internet um, in these uh, areas. So please be patient with me and um, just stay tuned. I'm going to get the videos up as soon as I can. So. Anyways, let's get to a full day of eating keto, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to start today with a walk around our beautiful lake. The mountain over my head is the Mount, is Mount Monadnock, and I will be climbing that mountain shortly. We have to schedule a time and all that stuff, so, but anyways, let's go make some lunch. Um, I'm going to make a slightly different lunch than what I had planned. I had an idea to make like a roll or a biscuit out of the same exact keto bread recipe. So I'm going to double it and I'll have, hopefully I'll have enough to fill up my silicone tray. So I'm trying to make six um, or a top and a bottom for, for each of my, for my breakfast sandwich. So that was a cup of almond flour, two scoops of protein power, powder, um, unflavored that is, a heaping teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of xanthan gum, a nice dash uh, or a healthy dash of salt, pink salt to be exact, and um, one, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of uh, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So please um, use the link below. Um, it's just the same exact keto bread recipe I've been using. I just, I'm just doubling it here. So that's why it looks like a little bit more. Um, but we're going to be making those um, egg egg McMuffins, if you will, type sandwich. So those are the silicone mold, molds that I have. I'm not sure if I have to have them uh, greased or not. So I'm just going to grease them real quick. And then I'm going to add my water. If you add your water beforehand, it's going to be very sticky. And the, the dough is just going to get really puffy and dried out really quick. So don't add your water until you're ready to go. So I'm dividing that into six burger top buns, you know, whatever you want to call these buns. Um, so that recipe um, roughly turned out to be 1.33 carbs per um, per bun. So if you have a top and a bottom, you're roughly having, you know, just short of three carbs if you have a top and a bottom. If you make that like just a piece of toast, you're only having 1.33 carbs. So anyways, um, sorry about the screaming in the background. We're at camp. <laughs> Um, so I just smashed a cut avocado and put that below on one half of my sandwich just to give it a little tastiness. And then I'm frying up a couple of eggs here. So I did three eggs with, um, I already stacked them for you to save some time. Uh, three eggs with an avocado kind of like spread. <laughs> it was just mashed avocado. And a top and a bottom. So there's the finished product of the bacon, egg, and cheese. Um, and you can't see it. I use Canadian bacon. You can't see it in there. Okay, so let's start off by lighting the stove. And we're going to make this chicken divan. Divan? Divan? Not sure. Um, we need a tablespoon of butter. Um, your, the recipe, the recipe calls for, um, fresh 
onion, but I'm just going to use onion powder. <laughs> um, and then also in the pet in the background here, this is Dakota, who is actually my mom's dog, who is my my dog that passed away. It's her half sister. They're from the same rescue, <laughs> so it's nice to have Dakota in the kitchen. Reminds me of having Piper. And um, we're just gonna let the butter melt, and then I'm gonna add onion powder and garlic powder, and then some rice cauliflower. So. I'm doing about a half teaspoon of both onion and garlic, um, but fresh is best. If you have it, use, use a fresh onion. I just haven't had a chance to go to the store and get a fresh onion, and I forgot from my recipe, so there we go. Half teaspoon, and then I need some scissors to open up my bag of Riced cauliflower. It says it's a one pound bag of riced cauliflower. And because I'm going to be feeding, and because um, I'm going to be doubling this recipe, since that there's six of us and we want to have leftovers, I'm going to go ahead and do two bags. And we'll just give this a stir and let the cauliflower cook down. You should use fresh. Mine was frozen, so I had to thaw it out a little bit. So, But just let that come together on the stove for about 10 minutes. And meanwhile, I am going to steam in the bag two bags of broccoli. This is also gonna go on top. We like broccoli, so I'm gonna do two bags. And that's two bags of frozen broccoli. We get it from Costco, so it's just two packages. So that's the noise in the background. And we'll just let this come together. So I will be back when it's the next step. All right, and now we're gonna add chicken broth. And we're just gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. So I'll come back when it's time for the next step. Give that a good stir, let it simmer, and cover it. Okay, so it's time for the next step. And we're gonna add two cups of heavy cream. Remember, I'm doubling the recipe. You're not going to need to do, you probably won't need to do this. We want leftovers, though, and we're feeding a lot of people here today. So there's two cups of heavy cream. Give that a stir and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And it's going to reduce, and we'll be back when it's that time. I, and I believe I'm going to throw about two teaspoons of lemon juice in as well. That just gives it just a pop of flavor. All right, so we'll be back in about 10 minutes. And also I've greased a nine by 13 casserole dish. Um, we're gonna bake this in the oven once it's ready. And I quickly wanted to add, I'm drinking my keto coffee in my Keto Rewind mug. Um, iced coffee or black iced coffee um, with heavy whipping cream and a scoop of collagen. Okay, so the next step, we're going to add the chicken. I'm going to, this is the chicken that we had left over from last night. And actually, I think for ease of use, I'm putting it all here and then putting the whole thing in the pan. Um, and then also a cup of mayonnaise. The recipe calls for only two chicken breasts, but I did like four because I, I wanted the protein. And I'm doubling the recipe, so that's why it looks like I have so much chicken. We're gonna give this a stir, and then we're gonna pour it in the pan and top it with broccoli and cheese. It's so tasty. It's such an easy dish to make. I suspect you could probably do this in an instant pot or crock pot. Um, I just have always made it this way, so. 
Um, but it is heavier on cream and cheese and dairy, so it's not a typical dish that I make all the time. But it is great for once in a while when you just need an easy, quick dinner that you just plop together, put in the oven, and cook. So um, I'm going to now move this to my 9 by 13 dish, and we're going to put the next step on there. So I'm just going to dump this whole pan. And spread it all out. And next, we're going to add broccoli. And my oven is preheating um, 300, 350 degrees. And then the last step we're going to do is top this whole casserole with cheese. We shredded our own cheese. This is just cheddar cheese, a block of cheddar cheese from Costco. Um, and we shredded it ourselves. <laughs> and that just makes it have so much more flavor and so much more taste. And it wasn't really hard and it's also cheaper to if you get your own cheese and you shred it yourself. So you're not going to get the extra added starch. Um, you're, you're going to get a more robust flavor and it's going to take your cooking up a notch. If you get the shredded cheese that's already been shredded in the grocery store, it's going to have starches that are added on there to keep it from sticking to each other. As you can see, this is clearly sticking to each other. It does not have the starch. Um, but So you're going to get a cleaner cheese and a more flavorful cheese if you just take that step and save some money in the process. So next step is I'm going to pop this in the oven and cook it for 30 minutes. So we'll head in there and I'll be back at the next step. Okay, the casserole is out of the oven. I'm going to just let it sit here for like 10 minutes and cool down. If you try to eat it right now fresh out of the oven, you're going to burn yourself. So just let it uh, cool down and it'll also thicken it up and make it easier to serve. So um, I'll be back with the finished product. Alrighty, well I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. Comment below if you are enjoying these recipes and I'll see you tomorrow, day 26. Go be great. Bye-bye, I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind.